Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Thunderbirds get back to business, looking to improve to 5-1 on the season. This weekend's opponent is the Philadelphia Wings, who were shut out in the second half of their last game against the Toronto Rock, and eventually went on to lose 14-7. While Philadelphia has a winning record at the halfway point of their season, they have not won a game against the team with a record above 500. But the Thunderbirds know there is no one in the league you can take lightly. The leagues, it's not like back in the day. A team could have a bad game one weekend and light it up the next weekend. They got a dynamic offense. You know, they got the big cat, Crowley, you know, Small Z, Blazer, everybody, Rambo, they're, they're deep. So for us, I think uh, defensively, it's just, you know, weathering the storm and, you know, making sure we're the ones to dictate to them. Jake Withers will get set to take on a well-acquainted adversary in Trevor Baptiste, one of the league's best face-off men. The two have gone head-to-head -head in NCAA lacrosse, professional field lacrosse, in the worlds for Canada and the U.S., and of course, the NLL. And it's tough for the pair to avoid comparison. We've played each other, it's probably the 15th or 16th time now, and um, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a great guy, he's a, he's a fellow member of the Face Up Academy, a good buddy of mine that, that I've came to, to know quite well through lacrosse and, and through coaching and playing against him. Yeah, I guess if, if you really had to break it down, I guess he would be kind of like that superhero type movie thing, he would be my, my villain. A familiar face is returning to the lineup this week, as Stephen Keogh will be back after missing the team's last three games due to a lower body injury. Well, Keogh's, uh, you know, he's, he's always been an unsung hero. He's, um, he's a spark plug. You know, he's a physical, physical presence on offense. And um, anytime you can add a, a, a leader like him to your lineup, it's a huge, uh, Huge morale boost for all the boys. Prior to practice, the Thunderbirds learned of their return to the nest in Halifax, where they will play in front of 3,000 fans against the Georgia Swarm after the Nova Scotian government eased up on COVID restrictions. Sunday's game will be their last home game at the First Ontario Centre in Hamilton and will likely be their last game in front of no fans forever. It's nice to get the news today that we're, we're going to be back in Halifax the following weekend against Georgia. And uh, again, it's... Uh, Again, another homecoming, another long stretch where we haven't been able to play in front of our home fans. So I know the boys are really excited about it. I'm really proud with how the, the boys have reacted to the, the adversity we've had playing in front, playing one in Hamilton and two with no fans. Who do you play for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> on three, one, two, three. Birds! Birds! Halifax is a big chance to climb in the East here, Pat, and this is a game that a lot of people are marking on their calendars. Here we go, at the top of the class on a roll, and it's time to run it up, yeah you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor, Hey, on a roll, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide, never see me coming on my landmine. Yeah. A couple of hours before the game, both teams are on the floor, having to forego shoot around given the 1 p.m. start. Keep the middle nice and spread. Do your fucking jobs, right? Hard to the bench. Right? Let's not have our defense chasing numbers. Win that battle. We did a great job last game. They know they're going to come hard because they got lots of slow old guys, so we're going to get transition opportunities. We have to do the same for the defense. You can shoot with confidence. Shoot with fucking confidence, right? Swing the ball, touch the corners, make them play five on five, we win for fucking fun. Yeah, so those shots that we can get in the last seven seconds, let's not take those at 15, 16. Let's work to get a fucking good opportunity. We're, we're all fucking great shooters here. Like, I think that's pretty much all of our bread and butter is that fucking mid to long range shot mid range for most of us hey Steven yeah. but let's work for that in those easy goals first let's not let's not can let's not give in to just taking that in mid to long range shot with 15 seconds left like let's work to get the best shot available and we'll take that one at the end if we have to like let's be confident in our offense and confident like let's get some easy ones for one This time of the day, right? Don't let your body, don't let your mind tell yourself that narrative, right? Compete for every thing we got this afternoon, right? Compete every period, every shift, every loose. 
baseball, every thing that matters in this game, compete. Right? Look at look at each other. We're all in here. Hold the rope. Compete today. Here we go. Birds on three. One, two, three. Birds. Withers gets credit for the opening face-off win, but it's the Wings that get the opening goal. Now down two after a shorthanded goal from Kevin Crowley, it's captain Cody Jamison's time to get his team on the board. Jamison adds another on the power play to put his team up by one in the second quarter. After the Wings' small scores to tie it, the Thunderbirds attempt to regain the lead. Terrafanko making his way. scores his second career goal in style. Terrafanko's a beast. I mean, uh, if he didn't get 15 loose balls there tonight, I don't know, and he's just continuing to develop and, and grow as an athlete, and uh, he loves the game, and you can see how much effort he puts into it. Steal of the draft. He was a steal of the draft. I said this from day one. When we picked him, he was a steal of the draft. And I went to Ohio State with him. He's amazing. He's a workhorse. He just needed a little time to get used to the box game, a little bit different style of defense. But now that he is, he's showing everybody that he is an incredible player. And he's going to be a force to be reckoned with for a long time in this league. And when the ball's on the ground and it's near him, he most likely is going to pick it up. And scored tonight, got his uh, first real goal. I'm very proud of him. Can't wait to keep seeing him grow as a player. Just as predicted, the Wings bring their A game. The two teams are knotted at four goals apiece and head back to the locker room to regroup. We keep playing with confidence. Again, let's bring that ball out of the corner, get top side, good things get created off of that. Defensively, stick to our systems. We play tough to play between the whistles, nothing stupid, hard to the bench, both ends of the floor. first in his return to the lineup. The duel continues in the second half. The Thunderbirds and Wings trade goals. Kyle Jackson scores a pair for his team back to back. But it's the Wings who score three unanswered in the fourth quarter to take the lead after Ben McIntosh nets a pair of back to back markers of his own. You knew the whole time it was going to be a tight battle. Um, it just had the making that whole time of a back and forth, one goal type game. Late in the game, now down eight to seven, the pressure shifts on to the Thunderbirds. And now Halifax in transition. Pass off. Gillies shoots. Yes! 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 Gillies ties the game at eight. I had been kind of reading them all game that maybe had been dropping a little bit and um, trying to just shoot one in that top right corner. So um, got the opportunity and uh, made the most of it. Less than a minute to go now. Thunderbirds with possession. Steph LeBlanc takes the slick feed from Eric Fennell and makes no mistake on top of the crease. Thunderbirds inch closer to the win. Feels amazing. Not because I assisted, because we went up by one. I don't, I'm not a big points guy. I only care about two, and that's two that we get as a team at the end of the game. So I was just really happy that we went up and there's only 20, 22 seconds left. And we have a great draw guy. And, Jake Withers, so I knew he could tie up Baptiste and give us that opportunity to win. So Withers goes on to win the face-off battle over Baptiste, winning over 72% of the draws on the day, and Tyson Bell would put one into the empty net. Thunderbirds taking the W 10-8. It's a great f***ing job today, boys, right? F***ing celebrate today, have a good f***ing time. Let's get that group chat f***ing rocking tonight. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Right here, men's are banned. Back to work tomorrow, right? Back to work tomorrow, f***ing Halifax, right? Let's get ready for that trip to Halifax, boys. Here we go. Birds on three, one, two, three. Oh, it's exciting to get back in front of those Halifax fans. Um, it's just a different energy uh, when we get to the hotel, get to the arena. Like I said earlier, home is where the heart is, and... Uh, Halifax is where our heart is and we miss our fans, we miss the city. Get in front of those Thunderbird fans, it's, uh, it's as good as it gets, so uh, I can tell you we're really excited. Terry, take us around! Just quick, again, overall, great effort. 
Right, it's real easy, you go down by one, two minutes left. You know, we stuck with it, we stuck with that adversity. We had trouble putt finding the back of the net in the second quarter, or second half. Gillies fucking tied it up for us, great fucking shot, Gilly. Yeah. But what I liked the best was, we stayed positive. We, we said, what's next? And that's the way we can play it all game. What's next? Great fucking effort, right? D-ball, honestly, I give it to fucking every one of you D guys. Played fucking absolutely outstanding. Warren, you hold this for me, please. Here we have a ball. For the first real goal. Real goal. Thanks for throwing that flag. <laughs> hey, last one. Okay, we knew it was just a matter of time before this guy went off. And here we go, Cappy. Way to go. Won two fucking games. Now we get to go home to Pal fucking Halifax and win another one next weekend. Good fucking job, boys. Coming here in Hamilton, you know, we got two wins, which is great. And we're continuing our path to success. But going back home, it feels good to get back in front of our fans. And, you know, we're going to come and bring our best effort and put on an entertaining game. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what we're saying? No. Life's too short to bet the under. First quarter, under second quarter. Great fucking job, boys. Let's fucking have some fun, like I said out there. Let's get back to Halifax, back where we belong, home fans, letting fans in the building come ready to go. Here's a big week. Birds on three, one, two, three. Birds. Finally, after over two months away, the Thunderbirds will have the chance to get back to Halifax to return to their real home with a pair of wins in their temporary home under their belt.